I think it's funny to... Yo, 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 yo! <laughs> I think it's... Äh. Onko tyhmää, kun mä puhun itsekseni? <laughs> Onko? <laughs> I think it's funny to look at the names on the map, like the lakes. There are so many great names here, like a lot of nature names. Small lake, deep lake, frog lake, spider lake. But then also some nice funny ones, like Hukan Ulvomajärvi, which means like... Uh, a lake where wolves howl or what else, what else? Päättömän kuiva järvi. It means uh, a dry lake. How do I translate it? Päättömän kuiva järvi. It's like a päättömän. Somebody, a person without a head owns this lake. That is also a dry lake. It's so hard to translate this, but very roughly translated. Puolukka velli lampi is like a pond of what is it? Puolukka velli lampi pond of lingonberry porridge, like a very wet lingonberry porridge. Tontan vuottama järvi. Tontan vuottama järvi. I don't even know what that means in Finnish. It's so funny. Like I think there is a story in all of these names, and that's just that's just interesting. Okay. Um, I'm now gonna take this map and just go over that river and I think there was a nice kind of like a small hill and a view so I'm gonna go there and see how it looks like and hopefully I don't get lost so wish me luck stream for Papu to cross. Tula pa! Tula, tula! Hienosti! I've spent a lot of time alone in my life and I enjoy it. But this summer, I fully traveled alone. I've wandered in the wilderness of northern Finland all by myself. I don't often feel lonely, even when being totally by myself for long times. It's easy, 
easier than being with other people. It's cleansing. When you are alone, especially in the wilderness without any outer stimuli, you have to confront yourself, your thoughts, your emotions, you. It can feel scary, but normally, mind works like a genius. First, it throws easy thoughts. What should I eat next? Did I remember to lock the doors in my van? Are my keys somewhere safe? Then it takes a deeper dive. How am I feeling and why is that? And it goes deeper and deeper. Emotions and thoughts flow. There's nowhere to run from them. You just have to let them come. Listen to what they have to say and deal with them. But then, when they are felt and heard, you let them go. They go, and what comes next? Nothing. The mind is empty, clear, like a newborn. After that, I'm able to fully enjoy the smallest things, get back to the very simple joys of life, those that are often forgotten when there's so much other stuff, people and noises around. That's why I love to be alone, to take myself into the wilderness, to nature, so that I can hear myself, hear what I have to say, what my mind has to say, and give it what it needs. It's healing. I heal myself with the help of the surrounding wilderness. Weather there, but 